The question was submissions in a street fight or self defense. This is one on one. Yeah, but if there's multiple people, I probably wouldn't do that. Right, you don't want to be married to the person. So uh, we're going to talk about submissions for street fight or self defense from the like private citizen self defense, but also Cliff works in bars and nightclubs. Jay works in a bar. I've bounced at bars and clubs, believe it or not. Um, we're actually going to talk about my, my second weekend at the club when I got my head split open trying to put a guy in a triangle. <laughs> oh, I never heard the story. No, me either. You never heard the story? No, me either. Y'all never heard the story? No. Dude. It was my second weekend. Y'all come up here. I never here. heard the story. Yeah, here. I remember I got concussed in practice. Remember you were, yes. you were working out in the garage and yep. you were like, hey, was that good? Yeah. Like you asked me, was that a good set? And yeah. I was like, I don't know. And we were like, dude, you need to go to the hospital. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. I was, I gotten concussed on Wednesday and on Friday morning we were working out and I had to work at the club that night. So I had a concussion and I was working the front door. Why do they always put little dudes on the front? Is it so it doesn't look like... I, I mean, dude, it, I've seen... I've seen it make. It's kind of a mixed bag, really. Usually they shouldn't just put one... Put a big dude and a little dude. No, it was me and this other dude, this other little dude, and he was useless. Yeah. There was this drunk dude. He came up, like, clearly, like, too drunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And he... The, the guy up front... I was doing wristbands. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the guy checking IDs was like, no, nah, you can't come in here. And the dude just went to go buy him, and he did like this. And the dude just did that. And then, what's his face just... Was like, yo, what you, looked at me like, you gonna yeah. get him? Yeah. Right? He's in now. <laughs> now, I had been to the ER already and gotten diagnosed with a concussion, but I had just started there and I needed the money and I like couldn't, I didn't want to call in. I, you know what I mean? So I was like, I was like, this is okay. The guy wasn't big, he wasn't humongous. So I thought for sure I could throw him out. So I went and I went like underhook, my traditional, I pushed into here. Yeah. And I went to chuck him out, but this is essentially what I did. I just. I guess I didn't have balance or whatever, and I just went, ah, and I fell. I pulled him down on top of me, and this was like, here's what's funny about, like, sport training. It conditions you. Like, I was out of it, but I immediately started working for the triangle, right? Right? Yeah. I lost the triangle. I lost the triangle and transitioned oh. to armbar. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I flattened him out with the armbar. And then what's his face came over and I was like this, what's his face came over and started yelling at me. Let him go. Stop, stop, man. And I was like, get him, get him. I wanted him. I wanted other people to put their hands on him, but I'd split my head open on those like velvet rope things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, get him. And they were like, let him go, man. He didn't do anything. Like they were arguing with me. Like he just blew by. Cause what it was, I think dude didn't want to admit that dude just blew by him. You know what I mean? And he didn't want to fight anybody. It was useless. He was totally useless. He made so me laying on the ground bleeding, and the guys that yeah, my head. But now I did that to myself. Honestly, I threw myself. Out. They didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, like, damn, this guy yeah. just hurt one of our yeah, you know, guys that work yeah. with us. So I think here's my opinion on submissions, like in self defense. I think chokes are better than locks. Let's start with the the police officer thing because I think that's important. Like uh, hop now, All right? Uh, down, 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 down you go. Yeah. Wherever, however, however you would go, yeah. right? If I go, if I go like, um, like straight arm lock like this, you know what I mean? And I'm like, chill out, give me your hand. Unless I break this, these the guy doesn't always know he's in a submission. Yeah, they don't understand. You know what I mean? They don't know that they're in danger. I could just break your elbow right now. Right, like you might not get, you might not get what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm like, give me your other hand, dude. Give me your other hand. You know, like stop fighting or whatever. Yeah. Same with like, uh. There's people that talk about like, um, like, uh, like heel hooks and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if I start turning you over with something like this, mm -hmm. am I turning? Yeah, you probably should. Yeah. Right. He, he, you know, he, uh, he doesn't know that he's in danger. Yeah. So it's all or nothing, which if we're talking like someone that's really trying to hurt you, that's not a big deal. Hurt him. But like police officers sometimes will put guys. I remember I ended up here twice on duty. Twice I ended up in this position, and it's all I had. And I was like, conditioned and training to know that, like, once I got here, like, I'm winning. Like, you should know that you are defeated. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you get into this position, and this guy maybe doesn't know that he's, he doesn't well, know. He's probably he, be trying to fight. Like, right? He's you know, fighting, and I'm like, dude, I am choosing not to break your arm. Yeah. I could, I could like break your arm, you know, or, 
at any at any time that I want to, I'm just choosing not to. Yeah. And then I have to extract myself from this situation. Which is why I think that chokes are superior. And I think chokes and the short choke, your choke. All right. Cliff won, you won the, was it the hard play? Hard play. Hard play championship with the short choke. You want to show it? Yeah. Uh, on Jay. Do it on Jay. Uh -huh. I think this choke, and now we've done a full video on it. This choke here, I think is way better than the rear naked. The rear naked choke, I mean, this is good. He could put him out in just a matter of like, what is it, six or seven seconds or yeah. something like that? Seconds. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Comment below, like, how many likes on this video for us to put Jay out with the choke? <laughs> this one is cooler to me. Details, details, details. And there's a whole video on this choke. Um, I'll link up there. Because at any point, like you said, if there's multiple people, he could like bail. You can like let go of that. You're not married to that. We still, he could still fight other guys off and still has control because where the head goes, the body goes. He could twist him and turn him and pull him all over and do what he wants to him. And at any point, go right back to that choke. Yeah, or drag him down to the ground or whatever without having to get into the full and be like stuck to that guy. You okay? Yeah, okay, I'm good. I'm he's good. very strong. He is. You're not used to, he's used to me doing shit to him and he has to come <laughs> and be like, okay, dude, let me humor you and let you pretend to choke me. Cliff would choke you for real. Turning them off is better than causing them pain or discomfort. Yeah. Especially when they might not even know that they're in a submission. Or if they're on something. True. Like, have you ever seen that? Like a guy that you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've fought guys on code, PCP, whatever, and they're not going to feel shit. So you are going to have to choke them out. So they're going to be like... Yeah. So they'll use they're it as like, a weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> use it like a club. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll come back to fight. I mean, it's not over. Yeah. So with a choke, it's final. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if he knows he's beaten or not. Yeah. And they yeah. actually they'll wake up. They wake up like what, what happened? happened? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll go tell that's you know they'll go tell the story of how they whipped that guy's ass at that at that club. Yeah. yeah. Um but that's kind of my take on, you know, submissions for like self defense whether you're a bouncer, a police officer, or a private ci I think a private citizen like just defending himself against someone trying to hurt him, yeah. like do whatever. Yeah. Break their shit up, but also be aware of the fact that Learning how to get to some chokes, either that short choke or a guillotine, like standing guillotine, because when a guy doesn't know what he's doing, clinches up with you, and you start threatening him, they always duck their head anyway. They duck their head down like this anyway, yeah. and then you just pop them into that basket. You can go, uh, someone actually asked me about this real quick. Someone asked me, uh, here, come here, Max. They asked me, they wanted Thai plum to guillotine. That's like the easiest thing to do, especially in self-defense against someone that doesn't know how to fight, because they're already going to duck their head. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to bring your hips to me and pick your head up. Like, yeah, and be like up strong like this. That makes all that difficult. But people that don't know how to fight put themselves here all the time. And then you can either, move this hand, you can either shove them in like this or you can pull them with the same side and still get that. They'll give you this because they think, they think they're going to pick you up. Yep. Yeah. But I'm going to put you out. And even if you did pick me up and I'm going to put them out before, like what, you're going to... Slam me, yeah. unless he already knows. And if he know, if you knew how to defend that, that none of that would happen. I'd be fucked anyway. If like you knew how to wrestle and you were that big, yeah, I'm going for the ride either way. <laughs> but if you want more fitness tips, self defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.